My name is Charlie McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network. 2011 has brought us a lot of liberty-killing legislation. You know, a lot of things could have happened in 2011. You know, we could have uh, held accountable the people that wrecked the economy of this planet, but we didn't. We kept the mentality of uh, too big to fail in place. In fact, we've strengthened this mentality, uh, making them not only too big to fail completely and totally the economy. Nothing happens now uh, in this economy without the say of the Federal Reserve and their uh, private banks that make up the ownership of the Federal Reserve. We, we live and die by what the Dow Jones does in one day. We forget about the fact that we have 1 million foreclosures this year. We promise to have that much more uh, next year. 1.5 million bankruptcies, 48 million people on food stamps, uh, a national debt that started at $13 trillion at the beginning of the year and is going to end up uh, just shy of $16 trillion with a promise of that to only expand and keep going on so we can make up for the failure of the too big to fail and keep waging wars around this planet. And and we end the year with the, the number one uh, contender in Iowa being completely and totally ignored. I'm speaking of Ron Paul, of course, ignored by the mainstream media and now, in fact, being ignored by the governor of that state, telling the reporters that if he wins, don't pay any attention to it because he's more concerned about the reputation of, of Iowa being the first state in the union to have uh, primaries and, and electing somebody or voting somebody a winner in the primary that is a, a potential winner, a front runner, rather Rather than have some a guy like Ron Paul who he feels can't win. So he's more in worried about the reputation of his state than he is about the will of the people that he is uh, supposed to represent. At the end of 2011, we see one thing. Chaos. Utter chaos that is being run into the ground by a government at every level that is completely and totally sold out to the too big to fail and 2012 promises to uh, see the implementation of legislation such as NDAA 2012, the Defense Authorization Acts that could make it a potential crime to do what I'm doing right here, speaking out against a government that has turned tyrannical, that has turned oppressive, that has decided to shred the Constitution and decided that it can lift uh, liberties that are supposed to be guaranteed to me by my creator unalienable rights and telling me that they issue my rights so they can take them away from me, this very conversation I'm having with you right now could be labeled a terrorist act and I could disappear in 2012. This is my fear for the upcoming year. 2011 is going to go in the history books as the time we went from a republic to a shoddy democracy. 2012 is going to bring us the uh, hard tyranny that a lot of us have been warning about. Stories are attached. That's all I got.